I'm Tammy, your independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Welcome to my channel, Southern Angel Stamping. Today, I'm doing a collaboration video with Jean from Beauty and the Stamper. Please remember to also check her video out and subscribe to both of our channels and give us a thumbs up. The name of the stamp set we will be using is called To a Wild Rose. This is a sample card that I've already done to show you what I'll be making. It pops open like this. I'll be using a different uh, sentiment because this up here is actually from a different um, stamp set. It was from uh, actually, it was from Happy Tales that I used because I made this card to send out to my aunt because she had lost her husband this week. So I had actually made this card for her. So I'm going to make a different one for the video using something from this one. So, um, this is the stamp set right here. And I was going to show you in the catalog that this is a bundle set. Oop, wrong page. Look, where'd it go? Sorry. You can get this as a bundle. Here's the stamp set right here. It's on page 141 in the catalog, and the catalog is on my my web page, my website, and then on 197 you can see the dies. So if you get the bundle, you save 10%. And I don't know why I didn't get the dies with it. I didn't get that. I just ended up getting the stamp set. But here's the dies. The dies are really nice because you get this extra little piece right here that makes like, um, uh, kind of like a a lacy piece I guess you could call it it's real pretty makes real pretty accent on the card I was trying to see if they had a they don't show it on a, a card or anything here and I was trying to see if they showed it and I don't know why they don't show a sample but it's real it's real pretty I've, I've seen some other people using it so I wish I had gotten it but I didn't so anyway this like I said this is what we're going to be using or doing today this card opens like I said like this it's a little bit of a different card not hard to make real simple just uh, a little bit of stamping really and uh, if you don't have the, the dies, just some fussy cutting. And then um, just some stamping on the envelope if you, if you want. You don't even have to. Okay. And the colors. I used purples and greens, but you can use any colors you want. I got Gorgeous Grape, Blackberry Bliss, Highland Heather. And then Granny Apple Green, and I've actually got some old uh, inks, old greens here because I don't have any other greens. So I'm still trying to collect my stamps, uh, or uh, well, stamps and my inks. Okay, so here is the supplies you will need. I've already cut out everything to make it go a little quicker. You will need... I've got Highland Heather cut at 4 and 1 fourth by 5 and a half. And then another piece cut at 3 and a half by 6 and a half. 
and then scored at four and a scored at four and an eighth. Okay. Get this phone folder. And you're just going to score it real good. down there like that you'll have you'll have two pieces that are about one by three and seven eighths of the whisper white that'll go down just like this want you can go you can have a whole piece there but I thought why well, waste a whole piece of paper under that just cut you a couple little ends these pieces will go down you're also going to need three and fourth by seven by three and seven eighths of whisper white it's going to go right here we can go ahead and put that down piece will be this top layer is whisper white cut it 
three and three eighths by two and a one eighth. And it goes right about there. part of it. Set that aside and then you'll just need a piece big enough for your leaves and your flower. So I've got like a piece of whisper wide about two and seven eighths by two and seven eighths. And then I've got two pieces or you can have one that's big enough for both of them. But I just had two pieces that were two and five eighths by one and seven eighths for the leaves. Okay, so I'm gonna bring out my mat to stamp on because I do better when I've got cushion with the polymer stamps. And I'm going to put that out of the way get do the flower first and I need to flip it over don't know, so I can stamp on it get my purple inks out here let's see remember what order I'm stamping in tip for these. This is a three-step stamp and to make it a little easier on each one of these when you get this that's why I uh, put a little black dot on the back so I'd line it up each one and find a point and then I put a little black dot on them in the same spot on each one of these so I could tell how to line it up so that made it a lot easier for me my eyes. So you see each one of these points has a black dot now. So my eyes are not the best and I still have problems lining this one up. I did a lot of practicing with this one. So here we go. Hold my breath. 
but I love this stamp set. It is a beautiful, beautiful stamp. Okay, so far so good. I tell you what, that Blackberry Bliss right there, it sure does stain. at my stamps and tell who I've been using that Blackberry Bliss a lot. Doing this on the Stamparatus would be a lot easier, personally. Now I gotta stand up, because I don't have enough pressure. This one. This is a tricky one. Make sure I'm lighting it up again. more you do of them, the better you get at them. I think that one looks better than the last one I did. Okay, and then a little center. Which I didn't even really show up. Oh yeah, I did a little bit. You can see the shadow of it. So there's our flower. Put these inks up. Whoa. Purple ink all over my hands. 
So we'll move our flower aside. We'll be cutting that out in a minute. Get the, those inks out of my way. And we'll bring the greens over. Set that there. And now we're going to have to do two of these. coming up. Got to get me some greens and some reds. So I've already got it on my list. All right. So then we'll set these flowers aside and bring over our leaves. Sometimes I press down too hard, don't realize it. I have to remember that ink's up in there. Just glad I'm cutting those out. want this stem right there on this one so I'm gonna do a mask I'm gonna put a little piece of tape on here like that just kind of mask it so that way I won't get ink on it and this time I'm gonna put my finger in there piece of tape off and then line it up which you can do that dot like you did the flower which I did not do Pre 
nitty. earlier today. You know what? No, we don't have everything stamped. Oh my goodness. I've got to bring all that back out. Well, you know what? We'll just go ahead and do this for now. Go ahead and put the card. I have to stamp the envelope and I forgot. We're going to cut this all out. But it is worth getting the, uh, go ahead and get, just getting the bundle since they've got that. And you, like I said, you save 10% when you get the bundle. Just go ahead and get the dies. Um, all right, so now all we've got left is just, oh, you know what? I'm, I'm sorry, we do have some more stamping. I forgot, I've got to put the, what I'm putting on the front. I probably should have done that before I glued that on there. Um, what do I want to put on the front? Let's put the last. We'll do blast on this one. before I glued it on, so we'll pray and hope for the best. Say a prayer. Oh, good. 
came out. Whew. Okay. So if I messed it up, then I just messed up my whole cord. <laughs> and I've done that before. That's why I learned you stamp it before you glue it in. And here I did not do that. Totally forgot I had to stamp on that. I learned that a long time ago. You want to always stamp your message before gluing. Because I have ruined so many cards. Alright. I'm going to let that dry. I've got two little pencil marks there. Because that's I just didn't want to come down too far because of that flower. But I'm going to let it dry really good before I do that. thinking I didn't pop that last one up and I might just do a pop up on this one I should have popped the other one up. I like that a lot better. 
think I meant to and I just got in a hurry until I forgot. Oh, you know what? I want to erase that. <laughs> I just realized you could see the <laughs> where I wrote on the back. I wasn't thinking about that. I should have turned that. I'll erase it with my eraser. And then that one I can glue. I wrote the measurements down so I wouldn't forget. <laughs> you can see them now when you flip it up. That's funny. There's my card. So if you like this card, remember to please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe and click that notification bell if you're not a subscriber. Please comment down below and tell me how you like the card. Also, here is my website if you'd like to order the stamp set or bundle or any other supplies from Stampin' Up. And here is my host code for August. So you can use that when you order. It's E49HKVWR. So I appreciate y'all watching. Thank you very much. And y'all have a blessed day. And come back for more videos to watch. So I'll see y'all again real soon. Thank you.